Welcome to 30 Days of Ableton Push. I'm Josh Spoon. I'm going to share with you guys a trick that a friend of mine, Roy Finch, showed me. I don't really know if there's a name for it. He showed me how to load samples into a drum rack that allows easy bankability of 16 samples at a time. So let's take a look. We're actually going to do this on the computer because this is one of the things that's just easier done on a computer than trying to chase down samples on a push. So here we are in our drum rack. And what I'm going to do is for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go to samples. And I've actually already got the first 16 samples selected. And I'm going to drag that straight to the bottom. I'm going to load those 16. And then I'm going to come up, I'm going to bank up and as you can see, it skips four of them. The four that it skips are E negative one to G negative one. So I'm gonna load in another 16. I'm gonna bank up again, load another 16. Bank up again, load another same 16. Bank up again. Again. Get in there. And then another 16. So I'll switch out of session view here into note view. And you'll see that you can now navigate all the way up. As you can see by skipping E negative one to G negative one, it gives you a little bit smoother scroll by 16s up to the top. And that top level leaves you with 12. But you know, you've got a good range of easy scrolling of 16s. Just wanted to show you a quick little tip. Hope that helps you with your journey in making more dynamic drum racks. <laughs>